Okay. So we got sound still. Yep. Okay, rumor spreads among a population and a people. Of n people. So pause there, make sense of it. So the total population is n. In fact, I might even write that down because when there's lots of words, I gotta get away from lots of words. At a rate, keyword is rate. So the population is, the rumor spreads where the population and people are rate, a rate. So I have some rate, but I think it's interesting. I look over here, all these rates are DPDT. So that right there implies that P is representing the population. The rate of change of the. It actually defines P later in the. Oh, thank you. Oh, here we go. P denotes the number of people who have heard the rumor. Wow. Yeah. Skip that. So I've got this rate thing, DPDT. Product. Uh, Richard, have you remember what product means? Oh, I know. Ken, what does product mean? Got to remember that one to solve this problem. Uh, Natasha? Yeah, product means two things multiplied. How many knew it? Point. Product of the number of people who have heard the rumor and number of people who have not heard the rumor. Wow. P is the number who have heard the rumor. P equals have heard. Oh, okay. Okay, by the way, I would probably not do this the first time through the test because even though I'm reading and writing, it's just taking forever to like, like there's weight, there's a whole bunch, there's, there's many other problems in this packet that at a glance I know what to do. Yeah, let's do those first for sure. Are we good? Cool. Product of the number who have heard the rumor multiplied by those who have not heard the rumor. So that's where they come up with this thing. Oh, okay. Because N is all the people. P is how many have heard the rumor, therefore those who haven't have got to be N minus P. So now I have the product that they are talking about. Questions? Okay, put this one please into your, I'm not going to stress about this category. These are, I don't know, they seem to show up about once every other year. Uh, just don't put it in the stress category. Just learn all you can from us. I'll tell you the ones to stress about. Like I'm serious, like the ones where you're like, hey, you've got to know how to do this because it just shows up too often. This one doesn't fall into that category. Um, which of the following differential equations to model this situation? Oh, it also says um, respect to time. Whoa, what was, there was something else here. The rate proportional. Proportional means multiplied by. So that's why there's got to be a K here. <laughs> So if it's just a rate, like if it didn't say the word proportional, there would be a constant? Um, the, only the only ones I've seen are either rate proportional or rate inversely proportional. Inversely proportional, it means they would have written this. Like, all, everything else would have been worded the same case. But they would have written it like that. So proportional or directly proportional is what they did this time. They said inversely proportional would have looked like that. Please. If they said or inversely proportional on this question, but then like say they threw in B and the answer you just wrote down, like do you see them doing that? Just to okay. 
for sure. So we do have to know the difference between. Yeah. Point for that. Question? So Please, look. Is the time Yeah, these equations are telling us so. Okay, the difference is in D and E, the rate depends upon the time itself. But they did not say that the rate depended anything upon the time. So that's why there's no T and R equation. I mean, it is dependent upon the time because it's dependent upon how many people have heard the rumor, but T is not directly implemented. So. Point. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. You have a different